Let's learn how to make a research paper in MLA format. In this video clip, we'll only talk about the first page or the title page. You should set up your document before you start. You could choose no spacing style in Word 2007. If you're using an older version, I'll show you how to do that by hand. You'll want to change the line spacing to double space and confirm that the page layout spacing after is set to zero so that you don't have an extra space every time you press the enter key. You should use Times New Roman font or similar and set your margins to one inch all around. Let's see where that information is available on the internet. If you go to Google, you can type MLA format and the first entry that will come up is the purdue.edu site the formatting and style guide there are many excellent sources on the internet but that one's very common you'll see that the instructions are written here for the general format and on the left hand side there are more specifics for how to cite different books out in, in, in all kinds of things. Let me make the page larger so you can see it. I'm using control plus to do that although you can also do it down in the bottom right hand corner. And the instructions, the general guidelines are listed for you there. It's the same thing as what I was just saying. And then how to format the first page of your paper and here's an example of what we're shooting for. In our document, we're going to set the no spacing style, which is going to remove the spaces after the paragraph. Let me show you where that is. Under Page Layout tab, you see how it says spacing 10 after? We want that to be set to zero. And the easiest way to do that is with the no spacing style. You can either do it by hand or you can do it with the button. And then we're going to change to double spaced. And also on the page layout tab, we'll set the margins to one inch all around. In Word 2007, that's the default. It is not the default in Word 2003. Well, with that much done, let's find out what else we need to do for our formatting. Now, in APA style, they require you to have a separate title page. That's not required in MLA. So we'll put the heading information at the top and then we'll continue typing right on the first page. We're going to make a header for the paper first which will consist of the last name and then a space and then the page number by code. That will be right aligned. Maybe your instructor will ask you to make the first page different. I'll show you how to do that. After you've made the header, you'll make the head ing. The head er shows up at the top of every page. The head ing shows only at the top of the first page. It's going to be at the left margin and double spaced and will contain your name, the instructor's name, the course, and the date. The next line down will have the title centered and then you'll be ready to start writing your paper. Let's go do that now. An easy way to get into the header is to just double click up in the top of the paper. The different versions of Word tend to have that access point under different menu items, so I'm showing you this other way. And if you look up at the top of your paper, you'll have a ruler bar that's either turned on or not. You can turn it on if it's not on by clicking View Ruler or you can go over to the right side of the paper and there's a button 
called View Ruler that will turn it on and off for you. Well, I have my ruler turned on, and if you note, I have a centered tab in the middle of the paper and a right tab on the right hand side of the paper. It's very convenient to turn on the show hide key so you can see how these paragraph marks are used in the paper. The show hide key is on the home tab in the paragraph group and it's the backwards letter P. When I turn it on, I see paragraph markings. When I turn it off, I see nothing. I know it's difficult to get used to having it turned on, but it's good to do that if you can. And then I'm going to press the tab key once and twice to get to the right margin of the paper. Now I'll have right align, and I'll put my last name, and let's say my last name is Jones. If your last name is Jones, your teacher might have you put your first name on there as well. I'm not sure. And then you put a space, and then you don't type number one, number two, number three with the keys. You want to use a page number by code. Well, I've gotten off my header footer tools design tab, so I have to get back there again. And then on the left hand side, there's a place for a page number that I'm going to insert at the current position. And what type of page number do I want? A plain number. Don't take one of those fancy ones, just plain number. It will show up as a number one on the first page, but when you get to page two, that will change to a number two. If your teacher tells you to, you could choose a different first page, and in that case, the header would not show up on the first page of the document. There would be no last name, no page number, but it would show up on all subsequent pages. I'm going to leave it turned on so we can see what we're doing. There are two ways to get out of the header section and back to the regular editing section. One is to close the header and footer on the right hand side of the screen of the toolbar, the ribbon. The other way is to go down into the text area, which is currently grayed out, and just double click down inside there and it will switch you from the header footer area which is now grayed out, and down to the text editing, which is now black, ready to edit. And you can type your name, Mary Jones, your instructor's name, your class, let me see which class is this, C-O-M-P Computers 100, I don't know, we'll make up a class number, and the date. Today is April 17th, 2010 when I'm making this. The next line is where the title goes. That would be centered on the line, and the centered button is up here on the Home tab on the Paragraph group. And you can type your title of my uh, title of your paper. I'm just going to put title of my paper. And I press the Enter key once more. I'm still centered, so I'll change back to left align. And now I should set the next paragraph to start with a first line indent. There are two ways to do that. What you might want to do is just press the tab key and you'll notice that an arrow showed up to show there was a tab. And what that tab key will do is indent the first line of the text but leave the subsequent lines of text at the left margin, as you can see. Another way to accomplish that, instead of the tab key, would be to set the first line indent up here on the ruler bar. The first line indent is actually, if you think about a house, here's the first floor of the house, the second floor of the house, and the chimney of the house. 
if you get your mouse into the point of the mouse, into the center of the chimney of the house, the tooltip will say first line indent, and then you can click and drag over to half an inch, that's where it's supposed to be, half an inch, and what that will do is move the indentation for you. The advantage of this method is that when you start the next paragraph, it will automatically be indented for you as well, rather than having to press the tab key again. This is the way an MLA style paper starts, and then you would continue typing your information as you go along.